Testing, testing. Hey guys, Intellect here, and welcome to another video on the channel. As you can see in the background, that's some Destiny 2 gameplay. Here to give you my first impressions of the game and the beta and stuff. Uh, the game felt good. Uh, really nice. Felt like Destiny 1. Not really, because I used auto rifles most of the time, and in Destiny 1 I used tank cannons, but we'll get to that later. Uh, I played the Hunter class. If you didn't know, in Destiny 1 I played the Hunter, which is the guy with the uh, uh, hoodie thing on his head. I uh, mainly chose him, funnily enough, the only reason why I did use the Hunter was because I got an exotic quest for the Kabostov, and then I was like, huh, I want to get this gun, it's an exotic, and I don't have an exotic. You know, the only exotic I have is the year one, got the exotic that I got from uh, year one, which is the Suros. So I was like, you know, another exotic that I can get, we get it. You know, actually, I was going to main Titan, but because of that exotic quest, I played Hunter, and then I liked Hunter, and then I kind of played Hunter for a long time, because they had to get to level 40, and that takes a long time. Like, Jesus, it takes a long time. Once I did it, I got it, and then once I got the weapon, uh, I kind of, you know, got used to the Hunter, the normal double jumps, you know, all that good stuff. So I chose Hunter again. And I chose the new Arc Strider subclass, which is basically Blade Dancer, but a lot better because it doesn't seem like people kill you as fast. Like when you had the Blade Dancer, if you didn't shoot the invisible perk, people will just shoot you, and you would die. Uh, yeah, wow, big whoop, Intel. You know, of course that happened. That's not what I mean. I mean like when people see a Sunbreaker and stuff, you know. They're gonna run away. You know, you don't shoot at a Sunbreaker. You know, that's just a cardinal sin because you will get hammers thrown at you and you will die. You know, Stormcaller, you know, it was in my uh, video, Will of the Master. It melts people. Like, it destroys people. I mean, honestly, that thing is crazy. You know, but Blade Dancer it just feels like people would shoot at you. And I think it's because you have to get up close to them. Which, you have to do that here, but you feel a little bit more tanky when you have the Arc Strider. Uh, you got the dodges now, so that also is nice. You have unlimited dodges uh, when you have the uh, Arc Strider ability active, which is amazing. You flip around, you know, you get double, triple kills, you feel good about yourself. Which is kind of the name of the game for Supers in Destiny. Because that's kind of what happens, you know, when you use a super. You, know, you kind of expect to get a lot of kills. Uh, unless it's a one and done super. Which, in this game, there's only one of that. To my knowledge, I think it's the Nova Bomb. Which we'll talk about a little later. Uh, here, I tried to get a no scope because I was still in the, uh... Live in the phase and select the video a little bit. Because I just, you know, I was playing with the sniper. Thinking that, I don't know what I was thinking, to be honest. I was just using the sniper because... I have no other power weapon except the grenade launcher, and the grenade launcher is bad. Honestly, it's, it's no rocket launcher or anything. I don't know why they had to rein in the power of the grenade launcher, to be honest. But, you know, let's go. Now that we talking about weapons, let's speak about the weapons here. I use the R rifle and scout and pulse. We're going to see the pulse a little bit later in the video, but uh, let's just speak about my... Uh, my thing here, my setup. I had a the starting auto rifle thing, and then the uh, that scout rifle that shoots very fast. And it was like a hit the reach type setup, uh, and I really liked it. Like it really did work. Uh, unlike Destiny One, like yeah, you can kill people with auto rifles, but if the hand cannon user is at least half decent, you know you're gonna lose that battle. Uh, so it's nice to see that I won a lot of battles with hand cannon, scouts, pulses, like I won one battle and I think he was like, his shields were almost gone. So I don't, I mean he almost killed me as well. So you could even, you know, you know that he was about to, you know, kill me. Uh, the, um, the pulse rifle user, as we're about to get into some 
both of your favorite right now. All right, and the pulse rifles, um, they're back. I, <laughs> uh, they're really good in this game. I didn't get a lot of gameplay with them, but they used that as a Halo 3 setup here. I didn't really use the pulse rifle unless it was long range, except you didn't do the Halo 3, did you? Kind of just always that rifle, but anyways. Uh, use the assault rifle and the pulse rifle, or the auto rifle, uh, as it's actually called. I don't know what the guns are called. You know, I, I couldn't tell you what this assault rifle or auto rifle was called, and I couldn't tell you what that pulse rifle is called either. Uh, I don't even know any what any gun is called in this game except the sniper rifle, which is called the copperhead. Right? I think. I'm pretty sure that's what it's called. And then I know the exotic names, which is Sweet Business for the minigun auto rifle, the sunshot for the uh, hand cannon, and then the Suros regime is SK, SMG, whatever it's called, you captured for the uh, <laughs> uh, Warlock. I don't even know what it's called. I didn't really spend a lot of time with it. I kind of picked it up. Like, huh, this is cool. This is cool, you know everything. But you needed the arc conductor to be active for it to be uh, the Soros regime. And not the Soros regime, but the uh, Zolo Supercell. And, uh, yeah. I didn't use it at all. I didn't use SMGs in general because, uh, I don't know. People were saying SMGs are overpowered. But I, I, I didn't see that. Uh, SMGs, I saw SMG use. But I normally just kill the SMG users with my auto rifle. So, I mean, I don't know what to tell you about SMGs. Uh, there's a lot of people on YouTube that will tell you all the news. And let's go to the Nova Bomb. Now, as you can see, <laughs> I never used it. Uh, except for the uh, homecoming mission in the beginning where they say, Hey, pick up these giant orbs of light and use it. And I used it and it was good for PvE. But, uh, Frosty, the guy who teaches me, said, uh, it's good. So, there you go. Uh, he's really good at this game. Um, he's, like, extremely good. Like, oh my gosh, man. He's amazing at this game. So, if he says something, I'm going to believe it. So, there you go. Uh, the melee, the, uh, energy drain thing is not as strong it's it goes for like one second and it's not even for your both your uh your um melee and grenade it's only your grenade for uh the beta that i played so yeah that was that and then uh overall i really like the beta but i didn't play much of it uh, i know it's a beta but i just I, I didn't, didn't play it a lot, you know. I played the uh, the Battlefield 4 beta a bunch, the the Destiny 1 beta a bunch, the Division beta, uh, the Battlefront beta. You know, I played all of that a lot, but this game I didn't give it a lot of play. Um, I don't know really why I did didn't play it a lot, but I didn't. Uh, the strike was boring to me. Uh, it was just really annoying, but yeah, that was Destiny 2, and now we're going to move on to the Battlefield stuff. My latest video, Phase Intellect, stupid name, I know, but I, that's what I was feeling. Um, I put the Phase logo on, I had, well, for the last part, and I had the Phase clan tag in my thing. So, I'm just showing off my, what I'm running here. I don't know. The video, uh, I liked it personally. The beginning clip had to be my favorite. Or the ending clip, I can't really decide between the two. Probably the beginning clip, because that was really nice. So I hit a guy in the kneecaps. Yeah, I literally aimed it down. I know, I know, it would look ten times better if I would have got the headshot or body shot. But you gotta shoot a guy in the kneecaps, alright? You gotta shoot one guy in the kneecaps, and then my teammate cleaned them up. So that was also a plus. He didn't kill me or ruin it. So, it was really nice. 
I, I liked it personally. Uh, I will leave a link to it down below if you didn't see it. So go ahead, watch it. Uh, you know, I'm, I mean, I'm not a sniper. I never claimed to be a sniper. Uh, I got that one. Uh, um, what's his name? Rampant? You know, he's a sniper. He's a proper sniper. Uh, I heard a guy open the door, and then he just killed him. You know, um, because people don't use uh, the silent thing for recon. People don't, cause people don't really play recon like that. Uh, I'm probably the only one of the only people who do because I use it for rescue. Uh, that's back to the topic, though, so, um, about phase intellect. Uh, uh, you might be asking yourself, you saw phase in the clan tag and you have the emblem still, AK. What's up with that? And I forgot to take it off. Yeah, uh, I forgot to put on the Virgo Legacy emblem. And the clan, the VL in my clan tag. So I goofed. But I think it's still great gameplay. So I said, Nope, I'm gonna use it. So here you go. You know, here's the AK. I made the AK skin myself using the gun bench feature that you get in the um, rail thing, I think. Uh, so, yep, the camo is awesome. And then I got the pistol swirl camo on, as you saw in the beginning. But, uh, yeah. The phase thing uh, was pretty nice. Uh, again, you watch it. Description link in the description down below. Now I don't know what the next video is gonna be. Um, it might be Destiny or Battlefield. Um, I don't have a lot of games I'm playing right now. I'm playing Dragon Ball Xenoverse, uh, the first one, not the second one. Just to see how it is, because the second one is more expensive than the first one, and I think they're like generally the same. So, I bought the cheaper one to be like, huh, on this game. Um, for someone who played Budokai Tenkaichi, it's not good. Like, I don't personally like the game. There's too much stupid crap in it, and sometimes it feels cheap. Like, uh, when multiple people gain up on you, it's like, what the freak, you know? And then your teammates, you know, not online players, but you can have all, like, offline bots. They're potatoes. They're actually potatoes. Like, your enemies are good at fighting. They will combo you. They'll knock you across the screen, screen easily. But all it seems that your buddies hit the guy once and then back off and do a little key blast. And then they will stand around a lot of times. Uh, yeah, they're pretty stupid. So, I don't like playing the game. They expect to do a lot of stupid crap like soloing, attacking three people. There are moments where, uh, you know, Goku and Gohan, they will just keep on blasting me with Kamehameha's, man. It was one guy after the other, and they just go back, back, and then you will die instantly. Because you do not get a goddamn break. So, I don't like the game personally. And then add insult to entry, they add RNG random stuff. And if I would hate anything, it's that, because they spend a lot of time playing Destiny. And if I had one gripe about that game, it'd be that. You know, so they added that in this game. So it was like, what the freak? So that's another game I'm playing, you know. And then uh, we got a Panic Knife Extreme over here. Just, you know, personally, I don't know how he killed me. Uh, I think the collapsible baton is a one-hit kill melee weapon, but that that's that. But uh, yeah, another video. Leave your uh, what do you want? Uh, I have a montage as soon as I can play Destiny. Not when I can play, you know, when I decide to play it. Because like I said in my previous video, I have no motivation to play that game at all because it's, I I don't I can't it's just. Defender is just no Sunbreaker. Uh, ever since I learned how to skate, if I don't have the directional control, it's it's not fun to play anything like the Sunbreaker. Like Defender was regret. Uh, I really should have chose the Sunbreaker class to rank up first. Like I I hate myself for not choosing the Sunbreaker first, but I chose the um. Defender, and I'm really regretting it. Uh, to be honest with you, I'm really regretting it. 
Oh man, I'm regretting it. But the next video, I, just, I don't know what it'll be. You know, uh, I, I have, I can use the AK again. You know, uh, play more rescue. I have some rescue clips left over that you guys can watch. Uh, but other than that, you know, I don't know really what else that you guys want. Uh, so uh, if you want, leave your comments down in the description. Uh, you can uh, you know, get my Twitter. Obviously, it's Intellect HD. There, tweet me. You know, you know, leave what you guys want because honestly, I don't know what you guys want. I kind of just go with the flow, see what uh, works. It looks like uh, my most uh, watched video was uh, rather Siege Escalation or uh, Shank Thought's Apprentice. Uh, uh, I've been uh, thinking to make a sequel to that one. Uh, if you didn't know, if you didn't watch it, Shank Thought's Apprentice was a knife only and sniper rifle as well I used. That was a weird sentence. Uh, I used sniper rifle and a knife. To kill my enemies, but mostly the knife because Jenks a lot uses knives in his montages, and they're pretty dope. Uh, he's actually the only person I have on my channel uh, in the homie section to the right when you first open it. You know, Mr. Shanks a lot, pretty cool dude, actually. Uh, so check out his montages, they're actually very, very good. I don't think he gets enough credit, uh, personally. Funnily enough, he has more subs than me. I don't know why I'm shouting him out, but hey, he's one of my friends, so you should really go check him out. So, uh, other than that, guys, that is it. Uh, I'll leave you guys with the rest of this footage, and stay off.